Today, let's see how well these impact wrenches do against each other. We do have a Frankenstein and a Freak in the crowd. The Milwaukee has four speed settings, one, two, three, and self-tapping. The Makita has multiple speed settings and modes, including a light mode. The Walt Atomic has a speed one and two. It has a bolt mode and it has a screw mode, and it also has an, a special light feature. Milwaukee Gen 4 Frankenstein also has four modes, one, two, three, and self-tapping. Finally, get to test out this DeWalt Freak. It has a half-inch anvil with a quarter-inch hex collet. But unfortunately, the quarter-inch hex collet is only magnetic. The Milwaukee is be first. We are using speed three, five amp hour battery, and the battery is full. Let's do a six inch timber lock, a five inch ledger lock, a four inch by half inch lag, six and eight inch lag as well. How this test works, we'll do the six inch timber lock first, then in the same hole, the five inch ledger lock. Then we go on from there using the same uh, the hole as a pre drill hole, and the hole gets longer and wider as we go along. The Milwaukee's number is 2854-20. It's a $219 tool only. It's an 18 volt system, 210 foot pounds of torque, 3200 impacts per minute, 2500 RPM, and five year warranty. The M18 Selby has tri LED beams around the anvil. The six inch timber lock is first for all these tools. 4.37 seconds for the Milwaukee. Five amp hour battery for the Makita. Battery is full. Four point twenty five seconds for the Makita. Five amp hour battery for the DeWalt. Battery is full. Three point eight seven seconds for the DeWalt. Next, let's do the M eighteen Frankenstein I made. I sent this to Torque Test Channel. He tested it, and he also broke the light. So we will be going live in the future to fix the light. One point eight three seconds for the Frankenstein. The DeWalt Atomic Freak. It is a five amp hour battery. Battery is full. We'll just use the anvil as is. Very nice. And the Milwaukee Gen 4 Frankenstein for the win. And the last place is the M18 Stubby, which is actually surprising to me. Let's take out the six inch timber locks. 2.72 seconds for the Milwaukee. Model number for the Makita is XWT11R. $329 for a kit only. 18 volt system, 210 foot pounds of torque, 3,500 impacts per minute, 2,800 RPM and three year warranty. Single LED light underneath the anvil housing, and it does have a glow in the dark ring. 1.80 seconds for the Makita. 1.58 seconds for the DeWalt. And the Gen 4 Frankenstein has 1.34 seconds. And the DeWalt Atomic Freak has 1.70 seconds. And the Gen 4 Frankenstein for the win with 1.34 seconds. And the last place again is the M18 Subby with 2.72 seconds. Let's drive in a five inch ledger lock. 4.50 seconds for the Milwaukee Subby. And the Makita has 3.61 seconds. The Sewalt Atomic Impact Wrench is DCF921B, $229 tool only, 300 foot pounds of torque, 3200 impacts per minute, 2800 RPM, and three year warranty. Try LED beams around the housing for the anvil. We are trying screw mode for the DeWalt, and it has 2.77 seconds. 1.90 seconds for the Frankenstein and 2.4 seconds for the Freak. And in first place again is the Gen 4 Frankenstein and the last place again is the M18 Stubby. Two point eight eight seconds for the Stubby. 1.80 seconds for the Makita. 1.97 seconds for the DeWalt. The Gen 4 model number is 2953-20, $149 tool only, 18 volt system, 2,000 inch pounds of torque, 4,400 impacts per minute, 3,900 RPM, and five year warranty. LED lights do not work, but it does have tri LED lights around the anvil. Thank you, Torque Test Channel. I will be fixing that. 1.16 seconds for the Frankenstein, and 1.58 seconds for the Freak. And for the win again is the Gen 4 Frankenstein. And the last place again is the M18 Stubby. Nine point eleven point thirty six seconds for the Makita. At this point, a washer would be good with these legs. 
7.72 seconds for the DeWalt. Wow. And 3.91 seconds for the Gen 4 Frankenstein. DeWalt Atomic Freak Impact Drivers DCF 850, $189 as a kit, 20 volt tool, 1,825 inch pounds of torque, 3,800 impacts per minute, 3,250 RPM, and three year warranty. And try LED beams around the anvil. Not quite there. 6.34 seconds for the Freak. And as you can see again, for the win is the Gen 4 with 3.91 seconds. And the last place this time is the Makita with 11.36 seconds. Let's take the four inch lags out. 3.08 seconds for the Stubby. 1.83 seconds for the Makita. 2.10 seconds for the DeWalt. 1.51 seconds for the Gen 4. And 2.55 seconds for the Dual Freak. And as you can see, for the win is Milwaukee Gen 4 again with 1.51 seconds. And the last place is the M18 Stubby with 3.08 seconds. Let's jump up the test with an 8 inch by half inch lag. Not quite there yet. 23.90 seconds for the M18 Stubby. Eighteen point nine seconds for the Makita. Not quite there yet for the DeWalt. Just a smidge more. Fourteen point twenty six seconds for the DeWalt Atomic. Let's do the Gen Four Frankenstein. This is an impact driver, you guys. Just let you know. Eight point nine six seconds for the Gen Four impact driver. Not quite there yet. 34.84 seconds for the DeWalt Atomic Freak. And as you can see, for the win, again, is the Gen 4 Frankenstein with 8.96 seconds. Let's take out these 8 inch by half inch lags. 8.58 seconds for the stubby. 6.82 seconds for the Makita. 6.34 seconds for the DeWalt. 4.63 seconds for the Gen 4 Frankenstein. 10.18 seconds for the Freak. Gen 4 Frankenstein for the win with 4.63 seconds and the last place is the DeWalt Freak with 10.18 seconds. Let's do one more test and see how well these do with an 8 inch by 5 eighths inch lag. This is going to be a tough one. I really need to watch you guys. 26.65 seconds for the M18 Subby. 43.64 seconds for the Makita. 32.50 seconds for the DeWalt. 15.31 seconds for the Gen 4. 31.40 seconds for the DeWalt. And as you can see for the win again is the Gen 4 Frankenstein with 15.31 seconds and the last place in the Makita with 43.64 seconds. Let's take these 8 inch by 5 eighths inch lags out. 11.27 seconds for the M18 Subby. And the final temperature is 106 degrees. Fourteen point fifty five seconds for the Makita. And the final temperature is 140 degrees.
11.62 seconds for the DeWalt, and the final temperature is 108 degrees. Oh, that Gen 4 is that Gen that Gen 4 impact driver is fast. 6.21 seconds for the Gen 4, and the final temperature is 118 degrees. Sixteen point eighty six seconds for the Dewalt Freak, and in first place again is the Gen Four Impact Driver Frankenstein with six point twenty one seconds, and in last place is the Dewalt Freak with sixteen point eighty six seconds, and the final temperature for the Dewalt is one hundred and seven degrees. So as you can see, there isn't much of a temperature difference here, and the Makita actually ran the coolest at one hundred and four degrees. The M eighteen Stubby is two pounds and six point seven ounces. The Makita is two pounds and eight point eight ounces. The Dewalt is two pounds and eight point three ounces. And the Milwaukee is 2 pounds and 3.7 ounces. And the DeWalt Freak is 2 pounds and 2.3 ounces. And as you can see, the DeWalt Atomic for the win with 2 pounds and 2.3 ounces. And the heaviest one is actually the Makita with 2 pounds and 8.8 .8 ounces. I was very surprised at seeing how well the M18 Gen 4 Frankenstein did. Now, as you can see, it is a much smaller tool compared to the M18 Stubby. And I'm seriously surprised at how much wallop this actually has. Also, you guys can see that impact wrenches is actually the key tool to driving in lags. So it's not just busting nuts. They're also used to drive in big, long screws or lags or whatnot because it requires the power, doesn't take much effort. And the odds of breaking the adapter in an impact driver is actually really good. And also in the drill driver, stripping the, the adapter. So then it becomes a round quarter inch hex. I seriously want to thank the members of the channel for helping support the channel and more videos coming. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading for the past couple of days. It's just been a little hectic. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.